Welcome bros! Today I'm gonna take a baby on Love on Fire actually. Okay, so today is... Uh, okay, I forgot the name of the episode. Okay, let's start. Episode 10, Poppin' Babies. Okay, fine. This sounds interesting. Congratulations, bitch. You're a mom. Seriously. What the fuck? What the f Okay. Chris wanders into the room, yawning. I heard screaming. What's going on? Okay. Welcome to the baby challenge. You two lucky kids get to be parents for a day. Isn't that exciting? Well, that's bullshit. Okay. Parents? Us? This isn't a real baby, obviously. Okay. But it simulates the real thing pretty closely. Okay. At least the all the fun stuff like changing diapers, feeding, crying. Seriously? That's the fun stuff? You are a weird guy. I mean, girl, okay? You and Chris sure look, okay? Fine, I can understand that. Okay, uh, we've got this. We can totally be parents for a day. Easy peasy, yeah. The important thing to remember is teamwork, okay? Now, go get ready and then you'll get all the details. A hot shower and I'll be ready for anything. Say, meet you back in here in 20 minutes, okay? Chris starts to leave and you head to the shower. Hold it! You're just going to leave the baby all alone? Whoa. <laughs> okay, so the game started, right? I guess we can't do that. We'll have to take turns. Okay. I'll watch our baby first, really? Thanks. Okay, fine. Be back soon, Mom. Okay. Nice cooperation. You're off to a great start. Okay. Today's baby challenge is all about teamwork, okay, you and your date already know that you play well together, now it's time to see if you work well together, okay, this is gonna be interesting, we're gonna have to be on point today, okay, part one of today's challenge, design a custom nursery, whoa, that's nice, okay, you have one hour, fine, better get on it, mommy and daddy's fires, okay, daddy fires, <laughs> okay. Uh, time to design the perfect nursery. Okay, you're completing. You're competing against the other couples on who takes the best care of their baby. Fine. Earn fire for good parenting decisions. Warning. Okay. Warning. You'll be deducted fire for bad parenting decisions. Oh. Okay. This will be great. This is gonna be so fun. I love designing. Me too. But I'm not sure if I have a good taste or not. Okay. We'll come up with something awesome. Fine. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, you two. This room is meant to be a blank canvas. You need to figure out if you want to keep it or choose a different color scheme. I'll bring your little baby back in a sec. Okay. What color nursery do we want? Uh, what should we do? Something neutral? Like a blank canvas for our baby girl or boy? Oh, I love that. It can evolve as they grow up. Definitely, that's perfect. Okay, that was a good decision, I think. What do you think? I love it. You choose a neutral nursery. Yes, I got fire. Your little one has been crying. Now that you've chosen the color of the nursery, I'm leaving your baby with you. OMG, I love this. Oh, I love you already, little baby. Well, you're just playing with a toy, okay? So, let's not get that much excited about it. So, is our little baby a boy or a girl? Hmm. A boy? Okay. Hi, little baby boy. Oh, can I hold him? Baby boy, this is your daddy. Oh my goodness, I have so many feelings right now. What should we name him? What should we name our baby? Okay. I'm gonna go with Chris Jr., okay? Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna do it. Even amazing son of a bitch. How about this baby son of a bitch? Welcome to the world. <laughs> what the fuck? This is just so much funny, okay? Um, <laughs> we love you. We're going to love the heck out of you. Whoa. Oh, oh, that is crying. Oh no. What's wrong, little son of a bitch? <laughs> Whoa. 
Uh, okay, okay. What should I do? I don't know anything about parenting. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Sing to him. Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Girl, great parenting. Yes, I got fire. Yes, look at your bedroom, son of a bitch. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, fine. Here's the chair where we'll uh, sing to you. We'll sing to you every morning. You better like Ariana Grande. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. Fine. Upgrade your baby blanket. Son of a bitch will stop crying. <laughs> I know. The name is totally awesome. Okay. Uh, can we get a new blankie for son of a bitch? Okay. Yeah, white is pretty boring. We should choose something that represents son of a bitch's personality. <laughs> okay, okay, let's upgrade to a... Uh, what should I do? Pattern baby banquet. Okay, cool. Oh, you just wanted a new look. Okay, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay, yes, I got fire. You're so cute, bit son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is dangerous. Dangerous? Why? It makes me like you more. Oh, son of a bitch, your daddy likes me. Jeez, what the f- We make a pretty cute family. Oh yeah, I'm having some feeling. How many kids do you want? Uh, two, three? I think that's the perfect amount. Plus, you want siblings, don't you, son of a bitch? I'm guessing you wish you had siblings, especially given that even all that you went through. Oh, yes, I forgot. I was a foster kid, right? Yeah, siblings have an unbreakable bond. I used to fall asleep at night imagining I had a brother who was my best friend. Someone who could share in my pain to be there with me through all those awful foster homes okay I can only imagine you're going to be such a good mother okay this is gonna be nice when do you want to have children okay um, I'm not so sure yet honestly I'm not sure I'll take one thing at a time I need to find my one true love first okay ha huh. and how's that going uh, he may be standing right in front of me okay yes so gosh I wish I could skip to the end of the story. Okay, find out who the heroine chooses at the end. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, sweetheart, what's wrong? What should we do? Uh, okay, that stupid son of a bitch is crying. Okay, he needs toy. Okay, may as well try it. Okay, you don't have enough fire. Earn more for next time. Ah, uh, shit. No, I don't want to. Okay. Uh... What should I do? A teddy bear? You don't have enough fire. Okay, a chair for mommy. We have to take care of mama's needs first. Okay, Chris has his priority state. Okay, straight. I thought we... I feel like we need to do something extra. Something that sets us apart. And shows we're serious about being parents. Okay, hey, you too. If you want to upgrade your nursery, try one of these add-ons. Okay. You don't have enough fire. Oh, shh more for next time I don't have we'll pass I think we're fine with what we have no problem good luck kids this whole baby thing is already more fun than I thought it'd be huh come on man baby is not fun okay I tell you marriage is the end if you get married your life sucks okay uh, okay it will be rewarding when it's a little can you imagine how real parents must feel the huge unconditional love that they share for this child. Creating another human together and caring for it. It must be incredible to be so connected with someone that way. Guess what? I have a surprise for you. Oh my god. He has a condom. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think he has a con condom. Okay, what kind of surprise? Follow me and find out. You follow Chris outside. Okay. Though there are rose petals landing to a table with champagne. Whoa, I'll take son of baby son of a bitch. Okay, wait, what's all this? We've made it through so much together, bitch. I want to make our relationship official and ask you to be my girlfriend. OMG, he's gonna propose me. And I want to do it right. Chris takes both of your hands and smiles. 
at you lovingly. So, bitch, will you be my girlfriend? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't have fucking gems, okay? God damn it. I don't want to pay for it. To not was That's really sweet, but it feels a little fast to me. That's disappointing, but I understand. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Time's up, parents. It's time to announce the winners of the nursery design contest. The first challenge winners are Isadora and Blake. Boo. Yeah, of course. Seriously, uh, not only their, uh, not only does their nursery look great, but they earned a lot of extra teamwork points. Congrats, you two. This parenting stuff is a piece of cake. Oh, okay. I will see what you do when you have a real baby, okay? For some of us, anyway. Uh, finishing second to, finishing second to last in the challenge was Peter and Georgia. Oh. Finishing last in the challenge was Bitch and Chris. Oh my god. Last place? Yank! Your nursery was cute, but you do better step it up. Okay, with that in mind, it's still anybody's game. Part 2 of the baby challenge starts now. It's time to judge how your how you parent in regular everyday situations. Later, we'll be plugging your babies into a machine that will show how well you did. Good luck, mamas and papas. And remember, don't slack off. Okay, fine. Time to go on a family baby date, okay? Where do you want to go? Okay, Georgia. All this baby stuff is making me crave adults. Yeah, we were thinking it'd be fun to team up and hang out together with our babies. All of that idea. What do you say, bitch? Uh, okay, heck yeah, let's hang out. I love this idea. Awesome, where should we go? Uh, the beach? Yeah. There we go. It's family hangout. Nothing bad can happen, okay? The bitch. The beach was a perfect choice. Oh, yes. So, Peter and Georgia, what did you name your baby? She's an adorable little girl named Sydney. Well, <laughs> I should not say about my baby's name, okay? And she cries a little too much for my liking. Yeah, this challenge is harder than I thought it'd be. Uh, it's really got me thinking about what? What a future with children would be like. Yeah, same. Me too. Where would you want to live? Okay. I'm gonna go with a big city. Somewhere with a lot of pe different people, cultures and experiences, okay? I agree. Art, food, public transportation, lots of places to see and things to do. Exactly. We should all live on the same street and raise our children together. I love that idea. Do you think you'd want to be a stay-at-home parent or bring home the bacon for me and little son of a bitch? Okay, a little of both. I want it all. Why not? Totally agree. We can do anything we set our minds to. I respect that too. I hate how it feels like we have to choose, you know. I could stay home with little Sydney. Would you? Totally. You'll be such a hot dad. Ooh. And most importantly, where will we have our secret love nest hideaway when we need a vacation from the kids? Ooh, I love that question. Okay. Uh, what should I do? Um, cabin in the mountains. Okay, cottage on a lake. How about cabin in the mountains? Hot cocoa, skiing, and snow showing. Okay. Cuddling up by the fire. Yes. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no. That stupid son of a bitch is just disturbing. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest here. I'd do anything for a break. Same. Okay, yeah, a break does sound good. I uh, want more romance and less diapers. I signed up for a love on fire, not love changing diapers. <laughs> okay, well, well, then I've arrived just in time. You've definitely earned a break. And in fact, I have a special offer for you. Oh no, I need to spend the gems right okay I'll ba I'll babysit for both of you while you get yourself swined dined and styled for tonight's ranking ceremony oh shit tonight is the ranking ceremony god damn it that sounds exciting OMG we're 100% in yes perfect and this is good for you because I love babies and I take great care of them I love the sound of this 
you'll definitely get a high score. More importantly, you'll get some alone time. We are spending you we are sending you on separate dates so you can get really de deep with one another, okay? I really want this time with you, bitch. Then why are you asking me? Spend some gems of your own, okay? What do you say, parents? Oh, yes, of course. I need to spend gems. Uh, reject babysitting offer. I'm too tired to go out. We'll just show up to the ceremony like the exhausted zombie parents we are. That's too bad. I guess parenting is all about compromise. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm eliminated, right? Welcome back, babes. Well, we plugged your kiddos into the machine to calculate their future success based on your parenting skills today and the scores are in first up bitch and Chris's baby OMG so nervous right now yes don't worry we got this I hope you guys got the second lowest score of the baby challenge god damn it that sucks okay according to the machine your baby will run a nail salon seriously nail salon <laughs> what the Okay, uh, I'm still proud. Maybe it's not the highest score, but my baby is a business owner. Very proud. <laughs> Damn right. So proud of you, our son of a bitch. Okay, next up is Adora and Blake. Great job, you do. Your baby will run her own successful startup in Silicon Valley. Wow! You and Chris roll your eyes. Georgia and Peter, your child will go through some tough times in high school and live a pretty mediocre life. Well, despite that, she'll be loved. And lastly, Lena and Tyler. Your child will end up in slithering, unfortunately. Seriously? Wow, you really neglected her. And we'll be neglecting to keep you in the competition. You're both cut. Oh, they're eliminated. Awesome. <laughs> okay. This, this leaves only three couples left on Love on Fire. Okay, this competition is getting fierce now. Go get some sleep. You've earned it. Now it's Camilla time. Okay, Camilla, I'm so glad you're here. Me too. I had to see you. I'm so sorry how we left things the other night. I left my emotions get the best of me. Okay, I let them, my emotions get the best of me. Okay, yeah, you did. I know I need to give you space and time to work out your own feelings. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I know this is really hard for you. It is extremely. Are you doing okay? This is all really intense. And I have to admit, my heart is a little confused, okay? But hey, when a song's out of tune, sing anyway, okay? Shock spreads across Camilla's face and she looks at you with those mesmerizing eyes. What did you just say? Sing anyway. It's, it's just a little something. Your dad used to say, there is n literally no way she could know that unless, oh my god, she's my sister. Camilla takes your hands. It's you, it's really you. I've been looking for you for over 10 years, ever since your parents died. Wait, what is happening? Oh no, 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 no. Um, what? Yes, yeah, seriously, what is happening? Could this be true? What could be true? I mean, she's, she's my sister or was she... Okay, how do you and Camilla know each other? I don't know. I don't know. I really need to play episode 11. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. Goodbye. I'm really excited to play episode 11. Oh, I got a new story. Okay, fine. I don't care. I need to finish this one. Thank you very much and goodbye.